it do everybody it's dj running mechanic hip back with another video so yeah you can already tell you see the hood up wheel off yes it's maintenance time y'all god darn it look tried to play around as long as i could with it but can't go no more y'all so had to go to auto zone and had to uh buy this right here Yep, I had to get this uh, Isla Pulley. Yep. Because, uh, see, it said replace, well, they replace the belt every 90,000. Man, look, my car has 135,000 miles. So, yeah, you can definitely see, uh, I'm a little bit behind on getting this done. So, yeah. It just, look, it kept on squealing a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm sick of this. It's time for it to get changed. Let me go ahead and open this up right quick. See what we're looking like. And this is for a 2015 Nissan Versa that I'm working on. Okay, so here's the pulley right here. Okay, nothing too fancy. So, that means I'm using the original boat that comes on the car. Put a boat it down. That's good. Uh, and while I'm there too, so I had to get one of these uh, belts right here, the serpentine belt. So, I told the guy my car had the, uh, the AC compressor down there, so. Hey, we gonna see how it goes. Now he also told me say Continental makes some pretty good belts. So, all right, we shall see. As a matter of fact, I think yeah, I got a warranty with this one here too. If I'm correct, what he told me. So yeah, that'd be good. But look, y'all see it right on here. It say best built maintenance. Look, sixty thousand inspect. Boy, was I behind. Ninety thousand replaced. Boy, am I behind on it. So, yeah. So those are the two components that we're about to change out. <sighs> you see, I got my jack right there, and for safety, I got my jack stand. Y'all gotta remember, whenever you're using a jack, do not depend on it. I will say it again, when you're using your jack, do not depend on just the jack itself. Get you some jack stands. Now, I left a little gap in between mine, so just in case if it do drop down a little bit, don't worry, it's gonna land right on that there and I already got it lined up. That is for your safety right there. So, okay, now as for this here, I gotta remove this cover. I'm gonna take it down and I think like a few little bolts right here, look at it. Dang, I'm missing one already up underneath there. Man, oh man, I tell you. So, I basically just gotta take some of that down, I think. Got remove some of this here too. Couple of these little pop out pins for the get to it. So, yeah. You say my work is cut out, but hey, it was all right though. When you're doing your own work, hey, look, you get to see what's up on the, uh, underneath. So, hey, without any further ado, look, I'm about to get to work on this. So, look, I'm a time left, y'all. And just take this little mechanic journey with me. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, I'm back. So I finally got the belt off. 
as you can see. Uh, that's where the pulley goes at. Gonna take that off, and the tensioner is like right. The tensioner bolt is like right in front of it. In order for the loosen it up, where you can unbolt it and take it off. So as you see, a eh, I had to take off a whole lot of stuff just to get up uh, in this little spot right up in here. So yeah, not easy, I can tell you that much. Well, I ain't gonna say it's not that hard, but it's just a little, I would say, you know, the extra process of extra stuff you gotta move, so. But yeah, like I say, that's the little spot that I'm working with right there, y'all. While I'm up on here, I get to kind of like clean up a little bit. Go you know, check everything out. While I'm up on here, while well, I got everything down. So, yep. So here's the old pulley right here. Man, I don't know what this is. I don't know if that's grease or what. Look like a blue splash or something. I don't know. Something got on it, pretty much. Yeah, I think that might have been the grease. And there's the original bolt right here. So, neighbor cutting the grass over there. So here's the new one. All right. Wait, man, you know what? Hey, I think all the, I feel like all the grease must have came out of this one, cause look at the new one. You see how the new one look? See that? And this the old one right there. Wow. Yeah, buddy. I guess it just uh, finally gave out on me again. Man, oh man. Well, straight to Sector 7 it goes. So now when I get ready to put it on, so see I have to use this original piece right here that came on the car, so I have to put that in front of that. And this right here, the boat, is gonna go on top of it, it's gonna be like that right there. That's how it's gonna look. So, yep. I can tell you though, man, on a lot of these newer cars, the workspace is a little tight. I will tell you that. So, hey, your best bet is to have some patience, y'all. If you are planning on working on your car and in a tight space, just be patient because uh, it might take you a little while to get something done. But, yep. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot, try and get this on. I ain't going to bore y'all too much with trying to put it on because, like I said, I've got my neighbor back there. He's over there cutting grass, so he's a little bit loud. So, hey, once I get it, all connected I'll be right back with you all right y'all we're going to uh, go ahead and try and put this back on so all right this is what I'm working at right here all right so I got my hand behind it holding it in place so this the little ring right here a little washer it goes over that bolt like that so now, we're gonna come with the new auto pulley and just put it over there. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. And once I have that on, I go ahead and put this, this look plate over it on the front part. Make sure I show y'all that. I don't know if y'all can see it. But yeah, it's that little plate right there. Make sure that's over there. And 
and then I'm gonna put the boat on. Let's get it started. All right. So there we go. We got the boat on. Got the new pulley on now. So y'all see, it really wasn't too bad. Not at all getting that on now. So now I'm at the uh, pretty much fight with getting the build on. Pretty much. Man, what is this right here? I'm like some little. Mm, some type of little mark or whatever something on there. I don't like that. Kind of weird, but yep. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this built. Pretty much on. I better yet, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up first. Then I'll be able to go ahead and put the build on. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all see how. I was putting that, that auto pulley on there. So, all right, y'all, I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I got the built on. As y'all can see. So I think I got it tight enough. Make sure it's straight. All right. Get cold with the tester here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's happening with it. All right, let's see. Crank. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Oh, man, sound like a brand new car again. Oh, man. Yep, that sounds good there. Oh yeah, I love it, man, love it. I mean, that right smooth. With that old one shoe, it'd have been squealing right about now. A1, we got it, y'all. We got it. Man, oh man. Boy. But like I said, though, man, looking at this one here, shoot. I mean, man, you can tell it looked like all the grease just busted out of this one. Oh my goodness. Well, I ain't got to worry about that no more. It's off to the side. Here's the old belt. So I went on and changed that. So now we are good. So I just gotta just put everything back together again. That is it. So what a journey, what a journey, y'all. Hey, just another little maintenance work by DJ Ron, that's right. Oh boy. So, uh, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and put everything back, clean all this up. Look at that. This guy here. So, yep, that's the whole look in a wheel. Friend the part that I gotta put back in there. Yep, I can see the job is done, y'all. Jeez. Now, that bolt right there that's on the pulley, that is a 13 millimeter for that, 13 millimeter. Matter of fact, it's the same uh, size bolt for the tensioner bolt too. So 13 millimeter and that is for a Nissan Versa, y'all. 
So, hey, look, this DJ Ronald Mechanic here. Hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that way you won't miss a video. Look, look at this guy here. Look, 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 look at it. Man, go to a dirty track, man. All that dumb on the hood. Yep. Hey, that is it, y'all. Uh, I just want to film that just to show y'all, hey, the little maintenance work that I go through. So, hey, look, I appreciate it. Uh, I got a little mess to clean up. Y'all see? But, hey, appreciate y'all rocking with me. So, hey, I will catch y'all on the next video. Hey, I am out. Yeah.